But no, ma'am, these are the Alsatian shepherds. Oh, over there, I think. Oh, you know, I just thank you so much. I just never can find my way around in the talk show. Oh, you're so My goodness. Oh, Smokey's nervous. Shut ain't. He's just as calm as calm can be. Ain't your boy? Back, Shadow, back. He's as two of the feudinous dogs I ever seen. Ben, maybe it'd be better if you took Shadow out. He's making Smokey nervous. Miss Judy, you can't do that. Why, you brought him all the way from Canada and rode him in an airplane just so you could show him. And if you take him out now, you'll break his heart. But he hasn't a chance against a champion like Smokey, and you know it. Oh, I wish now I hadn't let you talk me into bringing Shadow along. Well, Miss Judy, Shadow's your dog, too. Why, what he ain't got in dog points, he got in dog brains. And he's very fond of you, too. Well, even a mutt can be fond of you, but he won't win ribbons. And I want a champion. My, what a determined girl you are. Hello, Jack. I guess I did sound a bit grim just then, but all breeders want a winner. Sure they do. How are you, Ben? Just middling, Mr. Martin, just middling. Jack, I certainly do appreciate your coming down here to help me show my dogs. Oh, think nothing of it. I only wish I had one for my own kennels to compete with those animals of yours. That's ready for special event. Obedience test coming up next. Train dogs in the ring, please. That's us, Ben. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. There you Come on, champ. And remember, this river's more important than all the others. We'll show them a woman can train dogs as well as breed them. Come on. Good luck, Judy. Good luck. You too. <laughs> and let me and you too, boy. Now you get out there and give Smokey a run for his money. Do like that Mr. Martin man said. Show Smokey some real championship stuff. And Miss Judy, she'll never want to leave you home again. Now you just do that. That's all you got to do. Come on. Feel. Feel. Being a position, last year's champion is Judy Weston Smokey, followed by a kennel made great guy. The owners please line up their dogs for the obedience test. In this event, the dogs will be judged on points of intelligence and the ability to carry out order. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, here's an interesting sidelight. It has been rumored that the dark horse in this event is the reigning champion's own gentleman chapel. It seems the two dogs are fighting for the cup as if it were a personal issue between them. Chatter, you stop it. Roy Whitmire's dog, Astra. First entry in the whole version. Nice choice. Is Judy Weston second? Shadow. Okay, Shadow. Led by Jack Martin. Look at him, Bill. Jump. Beautiful work. Now leaping the hurdles, Miss Judy Weston's champion, Smokey. Smokey, Smokey, over. There he goes. What a beautiful fashion. Smokey. And he carried that by a good agency. Over. George Wagner, Prince Royal, now scaling the high ground. Overshadow. Over it goes. Magnificent. Over. If any of these dogs gave the champ a run for his money, no, sir, no, sir. He nothing will be that dog. Oh, I don't know. He ain't such a much. What do you mean he ain't such a much? Why, I've been knowing that dog ever since he was a pup. Uh, your mouth is saying that he ain't no good, uh, is you got five dollars to say the same? No, no, they don't need us being too hasty like. I know that. Just what I thought. You one of them guys that always opening your big mouth and don't nothing come out but foolishness. 
Is this Judy Weston Chapman? Smokey again. Pay attention. Smokey. Over. Nice work. Smokey. Over. Hold on the door. We'll have a hard job taking the championship away from the car. Hey, hey. Take some hard jobs. Over. Carry the dumbbell. A beautiful jump. Over, Ethel. Over. Come on, over. Ben for letting you talk me into showing Shadow. But if this hadn't happened, Smokey would have won. Easily. I'm terribly sorry, Judy, about that trouble in the ring. Now, if I had anything oh, to do... No, Jack, no one was to blame. It was just one of those things. Well, better luck next year, maybe. You know, Smokey's a remarkable dog, Judy. Needs a man's hand, though. He's not for sale. Well, I never said a word. You don't have to. I haven't developed a champion yet that you haven't tried to get away from me. Well, that's what you get for breeding such good dogs. Now, if you'd said shadow... But I didn't. You could have them cheap. Miss Judy. How cheap? $75 takes them. It's a deal. I'll have one of my men pick him up after the show. I'm sorry, Ben, but shadow has to go. He's, he's a troublemaker in the kennels. Better get packed. We'll be leaving for home. Yes. Shadow? Now, don't you go blaming Miss Judy for what she did. She's upset today, selling you like you was a no-good yellow dog. But tomorrow, she'll feel different. And she'll come to me and she'll say, Ben, what you want to let me sell that nice, fine dog like Shadow to that Mr. Martin? Then she's going to be angry. She's going to be mad at herself. And she's going to blame herself the rest of her life. I'll bet the best rabbit foot that I've got against nothing. That if she had to feel like this all over again, she wouldn't sell you for no amount of money. Shut up. Wait a minute. Get in, Shadow. Smokey, now you let Shadow know. I hate to put you back here by yourself, Shadow, but what's got to be is got to be. I know you're going to be lonesome, but you won't be half as lonesome as you would be with that old Mr. Martin. Now you just get back there and don't make a sound. Because if you does, for it, we is cooked. Now, go ahead and get on back up in there. Be quiet now. Don't say nothing. Go ahead now, child. Go ahead. Get in the house, dog. That's all you got. Uh-oh. Here comes Miss Judy. Fran, haven't you put Smokey aboard yet? Uh, well, you see, Miss Judy, I thought maybe that I would let Shad, I mean Smokey, get a little fresh air before we took off. Oh, well, that was thoughtful of you. It will be pretty stuffy and crowded in the plane. Miss Judy, you don't know how crowded it will be. Go on, Smokey. Get up. Yes,
keep up, Miss Judy. It's hard to tell, Ben. I, I thought I could climb over, but the higher I go, the worse it gets. What's that? What's that? Nothing, just an air pocket. Uh-oh. Yeah, I go again. Eight ball in the side pocket. Never get through this. Ice is pulling me on the wing. I'm going down to look for a landing. Is it safe? Safer than it is up here. Yeah. Sir. Here you are, baby. Hey, now, take it easy over there. 
getting kind of hungry myself. Not so fast, young fella. I beat you! I beat you! <laughs> All right, that makes me a mud turtle. Mr. Rock, I'm just going to tell the table. Did you hear that? You sound like wolf, I think. Sure, it's a wolf. Well, this is one fox farm that's not going to raid. Get your guns. You bet. We fix him. I hope you get him, Rod. I know it, I know it. Every time I goes and cooks hot biscuits, something got to happen. Well, keep it hot for us, Bueller. We won't be long. Where's I heard that before? There he is. It is a dog. Nice boy, what are you doing out here? Look, Ron, he hurt his foot. Well, what happened, boy? Get caught in a trap? Where'd he come from? I don't know. Maybe he don't belong to anybody, Rod. Maybe he ain't got a home. Maybe. <laughs> Well, he's probably hungry. He acts like he's trying to tell us something. I got I think so. Hey, boy, what's on your mind? It's a wreck plane. See, Rod, I know he was trying to tell us something. Bet you I'd always know what he was trying to say. She crack up good. It's one of the dogs she not killed. Let's have a look. Gosh, it's a girl. Come on, fellas, give me a hand. Matter, shadow boy. Is you worried about Miss Judy too? That doctor stayed in there an awful long time. Miss Judy must be hurt awful bad, huh? Well, if anybody can fix her up, Doc Morton can. I sure hope so. I don't know what I'm going to tell Miss Judy about Smokey being gone. Here you are, Shadow. I brought you some dinner. Go ahead, eat it. It's good for you. Go ahead and eat your dinner, Shadow. You see, we got him trained not to eat unless we tell him to. But he ain't doing it. Maybe he don't like it. Well, he likes it all right. But I reckon there's nobody can eat when they got miseries. And he got them bad. Shadow? Wait a minute, Shadow. Wait a minute, Shadow. Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor. Is Miss Judy going to be all right? I think so. It's all right for you to see her now. Yes, sir. Now, Shannon, now you stay here with Billy. Come on, Shannon.
Miss Judy. Miss Judy? That you, Ben? Yes, sir. Oh, you all right? Well, yes, ma'am. It takes more than a plane crash to hit me. And besides, <laughs> I lit on my head. <laughs> Is you feeling all right, Miss Judy? I don't know yet. Well enough, I guess, considering. That was some bump. It sure was. What is this? A hospital? I know, ma'am. We are visiting friends. Friends? Yes, of Mr. Rod and Mr. Billy Freeman. They're two brothers and the finest people you ever seen. They're the ones that rescued us at the plane wreck. Smokey. Ben, is he safe? Oh, well, Smokey? Uh... Yes, ma'am, he's all right. He's just fine, just fine. Uh, that is, uh, that's all I know of. Ben, bring him in so I can see him. Uh, well, I would, you see, but... Uh... Now, Miss Weston, you've had enough company for a while, and you can see your dog later. Uh, yes, ma'am, that's right, Miss Judy. You just take it easy. Don't worry about anything. You'll feel better when you get some good hot food. <laughs> all right. Gosh, he had a swell, isn't he, Rod? Pretty nice, Billy. Miss Judy's gonna be all right, Shanna, but I'm afraid you can't go in there now. What's this other dog Miss Weston was talking about, this Smokey? Oh, that's Miss Judy's pet. He's the one that got away at the plane crash. Mm, I see. Ask Bueller to bring Miss Weston some hot broth. Oh, yes, sir. Well, she's a pretty sick girl. Gonna need a lot of rest. Be some time before she can be moved. Some time? Oh, but that's impossible. On the contrary, I'm afraid it's imperative. But she can't stay here. Why not, Rod? We got plenty of room. And Shannon could sleep with me. Oh, that isn't what's worrying me, Billy. As far as I'm concerned, personally, they're, well, they're welcome to stay as long as they like, but... Oh, you know what I'm up against, Doc? Yeah, I know, and I can't blame you, but these foxes are pretty tough customers to handle under ordinary conditions, but... But right now, during the mating season, with the dog around, I'm a... I'll watch out for Shadow Rod. Won't be easy, but there's not much you can do about it. I suppose you're right. Oh, Billy, uh, go out and tell Hank that I want to see him, will you? Okay, Rod. Hurry up, woman. Hurry up. Miss Judy can't wait all day. Hurry oh, up. Oh, I'll get there. My goodness, you're rushing me so I forgot the salt and pepper. Go get it. I'll bring you some nice chicken broth to make you feel all warm and good inside. I feel terrible putting you to all this trouble. Now, you get that idea out of your pretty little head. You ain't putting nobody to no trouble at all. <laughs> well, hello, Shadow Boy. Where did you come from? Here, here. What you doing in here? This ain't no place for no doll. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Let him stay. Where's Smokey? Go find Smokey. Now, you just stop fretting about that other dog. Ben will bring him to you just as soon as he finds him. As soon as he finds him? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What are I gone and done? Well, what's wrong? What's happened to Smokey? I don't know, Miss Judy. I, I, I don't know nothing. Mr. Rod, doctor, come quick. What's the matter? What's happened? I, I gone and done it. I gone and done it. I done gone and let the cat out the bag. You done what? I told Miss Judy about Smokey. Good gracious of me. Ben, where is Smokey? I don't know where Smokey is, Miss Judy. Ben, where is Smokey? What's happened to him? Now, Miss Judy, don't go fretting yourself. We'll find Smokey in no time. He just went out there and got himself a little lost, but we'll find him. But when? Suppose he was hurt and... Oh, don't worry, Miss Weston. We'll go out and look for him. Please, don't wait too long. Please, I'll give anything. I'll pay a reward. $500 for him. Fine, my dear, fine. Now, you rest easy. I'll go down to the village and post the reward. I could cut the tongue right out of my big mouth. Woman, you has taken a premeditation right out of my head. You 
search to the north, Jules, and you circle the woods to the south. I'm going back to where the plane crashed. Yeah. Wait for me, Rod. I'm coming, too. I'm afraid you can't come with us today, Bill. I can keep up, Rod. I can go fast. Faster than anything. Of course you can, but I, I have to leave one man here to go out the farm, and I... Well, I sort of thought maybe you'd take over the job for me. Me? Sure. I've got to have somebody I can depend on to... Well, to keep Shadow from scaring the foxes. Gee. Well... Guess I'd better look around and see that everything's okay. So long, Rod. So long, Billy. And you didn't cook, too. Now, uh, where was we at? You were just heading for them golden steps. Yeah, now that's right. Now, not that I was scared, mind you, but I wasn't in no mood for pushing the issue. <laughs> then what? Well, the next thing I know, a blackout. <laughs> I'm going to get you some more hot cakes. I don't think I care about refusing any. <laughs> Mr. Billy, don't feed that dog like that. You'll spoil him. Ah, uh, he won't get spoiled. He's too swell. Swell? Well, he's more than that. Well, he ain't no ordinary hound. Why, he's extra special. Extra special? Yes, sir. But well, don't you know he's the champion? The world's champion. The world's champion? Nothing else but. You stop telling that child them whoppers. That dog ain't no champion, and you knows it. I beg your pardon? Everybody knows Joe Lewis is the champion. Oh, well, let's... Hmm? I took care of him like you said, Rob. Of course you did. I knew you would. You didn't find Smokey? Not a trace of him. The snow's covered up his tracks, and I... Oh, my goodness. Now I got to go tell Miss Judy. That'll kill her. Of course, I guess I might as well go on and tell her, because she'll fret more not knowing. You ain't gonna tell that angel child nothing. Not tonight. She's resting right peaceful like now. Tomorrow, when she's refreshed, is soon enough for her to hear bad news. She's right, Ben. Right, tomorrow morning, the dog might show up. The whole countryside's out looking for him. Well, maybe you're right. say it won't work. If we're going to hijack these box bombs, why don't we do it and get it over with? Plenty of reasons. In the first place, we can't get in and out without causing a rumpus. And a dog can. Bad 
girl. Go over and get it there. Up, up. There, girl. Come on now. Come on. Bring it back. Oh, fast, gal. Come on, gal. Come on. Up, up. Ah, come on. Hand it, girl. Come on. Over you go. Come on. Hand it. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Hand it, gal. Over, gal. Come on. Come on, gal. Over. Come on. Hand it, girl. Come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, bring it back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, girl. Bring it here. Bring it here. Not bad, eh? There's a fortune in prime fur scattered around these farms. She gets them for us one at a time while we sit back in safety. The farmers go hunting for the wolf that's raiding their best foxes. A dog don't live. He can jump a fence that high with a fox in his mouth. Well, listen, Will, if she knows what's good for her. I will try the pelt. Give it to me. I'll bring this one back and I'll give you a big piece. Now go get it. All right, come on, Gully. Come on, baby. There, that girl. Now come on back, baby. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on, Gail. <laughs> Say, where'd that streak of lightning come from? Came right out of that notice we seen down at the village. You mean that's the what they offered reward for? Yeah. Say, we can get 500 bucks for him. Well, that's what the notice said, only... Only what? Only I think he's worth 100,000. Ah, they wouldn't give that for a flock of elephants. No, but we got people who will for a flock of fox pelts. We'll never get away with it. Everybody around here will be looking for it. We'll keep him undercover. Okay, but I still think $500 is a lot of money. When it's cash, so is a hundred thousand. Maybe we can get the five hundred too. You got a lady here who lost a valuable dog. Oh, so you found him? Well, in a way. Afraid the wolves got to him first. I found him a couple of miles south of my place, and I figured the lady would like to know, seeing she put such a high value on him. I'll ask Miss Weston to identify this tomorrow. Right now, she's asleep. I believe there was a little reward. Don't worry, Gunning. I didn't think you came all the way up here out of a feeling of friendship. Now look here, Freeman. <laughs> I want to take something for time. Honey, child, you mustn't get in that. You better keep that killer tied up, Raymond. Oh, don't worry. That dog won't bother you anymore. He I'm... better not. If I ever catch him near my place, I'll shoot him on sight. I can't understand this dog acting that way. What's the matter with Shadow Beulah? I don't know. As if we're going to have to keep a watch on him. Ben, see that he never leaves this farm. And keep him away from the pens. Yes, sir. Come on, Shadow. Shadow? I trained you with my own hands. You ain't got no business acting like that over Smokey. That's if Smokey was... was... I wonder. I really wonder if... You get yourself out of here with that wondering business. This child has to go to bed. Come on, Shadow. Come on. Come now, on. now, honey child, you get yourself undressed. I will, Beulah. Beulah will be back to hear your prayers. Okay.
wonder what's the matter with the mud. What's he yapping about? I don't know. We'd better find out. That's the Freeman dog. Look, Gunning, this is no good. That dog's gonna spring our trap sure shooting. Oh, no, he won't. It couldn't have happened better if I planned it myself. What are you talking about? Why, it's a perfect setup. With that dog on the loose, we can raid all the fox farms we want to. Hey, not bad. I'll go with you. I'll have to peel the potatoes tomorrow. I'm busy. I'll go. Ben, wake up. Oh, my goodness. Mr. Billy, what is you doing down here? How come you ain't upstairs in bed? Ben, it's Shadow. He got away. Oh, that? Oh, that dog's all right. Don't you? What? He got away? When? Where? How? I don't know. Well, I was asleep, I guess. Ben, we got to find him. Is you telling me? Is you telling me? I don't know what's getting into that dog. I told him better not run off like that. You know, ain't that something? Now, we got to go over there and tell Mr. Rod about this. Oh, gosh, no, Ben. We can't do that. Why not? He's... Because we can't. That's why. You know what he said about keeping Shadow inside? Well, I guess you're right about that. Mm. This is a terrible situation. Well, I guess in that case, we better go look for him ourselves. Sure, we'll find him. We'll look all over. We sure will. Ben, you don't suppose he ran off into the woods, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. Wherever there's woods, there's trees. And wherever there's trees, there's dogs. Mmm, good gracious, it's cold. We can't go no dog hunting in these flames of cold. Why, you'll catch a cold. And if no, you it's Shadow. He's the best. Come it's on, Shadow. Come on, Shadow. Come on, Shadow. Oh, Come on, Shadow. Gosh, I'm glad to see you, Shadow. It's a good thing you come back when you did. Me and you got to come to understanding right now. What is the matter with you in a house? You know I taught you better than to run off like that. Well, you been? You had a scared stiff. You is a bad dog. The idea. You is a bad dog. Ain't you ashamed? I thought so. We better get him inside before somebody finds us. You telling me? And if they does, we got some tall explaining to do. We'll go in through the window. All right, Come on, Come Be careful. On. Shh, what, Ben? I 
you said nothing. It's that thing up there. No, you don't. You get back in there and stay there. No more of this preambulating around. Do you hear that? Now go ahead. Come on, Mr. Billy. Go ahead, Mr. Billy, yeah? Don't make no noise. Tell the soul, Ben. Oh, Mr. Billy, you know me. Well, he got four of my prime fox last night. Yeah, he got three of mine. Say, something's got to be done, Smithers. We're going to comb these woods till we find them. Start right now. That's, That's right. right. Uh, say, it's not the first time that a wolf... How do you know it was a wolf? He tried to rape my pens last night. I saw him, and he didn't look like any wolf to me. Oh, what was it, Gunning? A dog. Huh? A dog? What makes you so sure of that? I've seen him. Blackie here even took a shot at him. If it wasn't for blabbing on a lady, I'd tell you who owned him. You mean that girl of Freeman's? Say, didn't you find her other dog? Yeah, after the wolves got him. But the second one's on the loose now. So he's the wolf that's got our foxes. I'll hold him, Rod. Oh, thanks. I'll pick up the supplies and be back in a minute. No hurry. I'll be perfectly comfortable. All right. Hello, Walton. Hello, uh, Rod. Oh, hello, Pete. Load my stuff into the sleigh, will you? Just a minute, Rod. We'd like to have a talk with you. Well, what's on your mind, Smithers? About that dog you got on your place. Well, what about it? But some of the boys lost foxes last night. Now, they thought it was a wolf. But Gunning here said it was a dog. Well? Well, there's only one dog around here, Rod. Shadow, sure, no, that's impossible. That's what I thought. Just the same, we all lost some foxes last night. But he couldn't have done it. He hasn't been out of the house one night since he's been here. What would you say if I told you to see him over at my place last night? I'd say you're a liar. You wouldn't be trying to protect that dog for personal reasons, would you? Marshal, just a minute, man. You're out of line, Gunning. We ain't taking too much talk on what he says. But just the same, if I was you, I'd keep that dog locked up. That ain't bad advice, Rod. I'd take it. Don't worry. The dog will be okay. Put it on the bill, please. Get 
Rod. Yes. After what just happened at the village, I think the best thing I can do is take Shadow away from here. You don't want to take gunning too seriously. But, Rod, those breeders meant business. And you said yourself there was no place on a fox farm for a dog. You don't for a minute think it was Shadow, do you? I don't know. Maybe I know Shadow better than you do. Let's forget it. Shall we? Billy, you keep on protesting, and Mr. Rod's gonna know all about your going hunting. You and that dog has been up to more mischief, and I knows what's best for both of you. In this particular predicament, I certainly does. All that stuff's only gonna make us smell worse. That ain't no way to talk to a lady, Mr. Billy. We ain't in no position to disputate. That cat that shot a corner didn't do us no good. That was no cat. Is you in farming us? Oh, get away from here, man. The doctor says I can leave for home in a couple of days. Well, that's good. I mean, I'm glad you're getting well. Now I'm afraid we've been in a lot of trouble. Oh, gosh, no, you've been no trouble at all. Ben said you were quite upset that night the doctor told you we'd have to stay indefinitely. Oh, but that was because of Shadow. But the dog's been a swell companion to Billy. So you know up here, away from other kids his own age, the boy gets pretty lonely and... Also, uh... Also? What? Well, um... Well, Ben's been a lot of coming to Beulah, too. Oh, you have, too, and, uh... I was thinking that, uh... Yes? That, uh... Oh, say, you haven't seen our prize exhibit yet, have you? No, I, uh... I guess I haven't. Well... Oh, Rod! Gorgeous animals. I've never seen anything so lovely. Neither have I. I mean, uh, they ought to be. They're silver platinas, the rarest foxes in the world. But why do you keep them cooped up inside here? Well, we have to during the day. The sun fades their coats, but it, at night we put them in the pens outside there. Oh, never getting to see the sun and, and then ending up around some woman's neck. There are a lot of people who say they're mighty lucky. long until daylight. Oh, stop worrying and start thinking about those silver platinas. How is that mutt going to know a silver platina from any other fox? The platina runs around this side. We hit him straight, he can't miss. All right, then, but we've got to hurry. Now, right over there, boy. Fetch! Shadow, come on back to 
bed. You wake everybody up. Come on, boy. Yeah, boy. boy. Now fetch. Yeah, get that bag on. What's all that shooting? Come on now, tell me. What's all that shooting? Why, that man is crazy as a fox. Well, he is he? Shadow, shadow! Hey, Billy! What is it? It's Shadow. He's gone. Shadow gone? Well, where? What's going on out there? Lord of mercy, that child gonna take his death of cold. Billy, you come right on in this house. The platinas are gone. The platinas are gone. The platinas are gone. That dog got him, I saw him. So that's it. By golly, if I only knew she was going to do this. Give me your gun, Hank. Rod! He didn't do it, Rod! He didn't! I'm... I'm sorry, Billy. But, Rod! Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Smithers. That shooting you hear was at this place, all right. No, sir, we didn't kill no wolf. That fox thieving wolf was no wolf at all. No, sir, that was Miss Judy's dog, Shatter. Mr. Rod, he... Well, we done been cut off. They found the killer, the dog at Freeman's place. You say they got Freeman for the two minutes? The dog, the dog.
Freeman. Why, well, he's out after that. That devil's shadow. I'm sorry, miss, but we can't risk no more aids on our farm. I understand. There's only one way to deal with a fox killer. Shad is no killer. Tina, his taste runs kind of high, don't it? Grab him. No, no! Better take the kid in the house, ma'am. No, no, let me go, Billy. Now, easy, Billy, easy. Tie up the dog. Shadow's committed a crime. He didn't. He didn't. I know he didn't. Son. Oh, let him do it, Jetta. Oh, let him kill you. Thank heaven it's only a flesh wound. My arm. My arm. It hurts. Hank, Jules, take him into the house. But he got away, didn't he? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're telling me. I had a hunch I'd find something like this. Quiet, Shadow. Quiet! Well, that isn't Shadow. Who said it was? That's how you've been working it, huh? Using Miss Weston's other dog, Smokey, and blaming it on Shadow. You're guessing, aren't you, Freeman? Am I? Go on, back up there. Then suppose you start explaining this. Well, I, uh... Oh, never mind, never mind. Come on, get into your coat. We're going into town. Nice going, Flacky. <laughs>
Here's one of your fox thieves. You find the other one down there. Good boy, fella. That's the boy. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you, Shadow. Thank you, fella. <laughs> I'm busy. Where are you going? She's got a contrary idea that she's got to go traipsing home. Are both Smokey and Shadow going too? What are we going to do about that, Ben? It don't seem right. Cleveland, them apart, it has a natural fondness for each other. Amen to that. Particularly when the party of the one part gets the choice of stakes and the loveless attention. Woman, we'll come to us later. Billy... How would you like to have Shadow stay here with you? Forever and ever? Yes, if, if Rod says it's all right. If Rod says what's all right? She told me I can have Shadow for keeps if you say I can. She's going away, Rod. Don't let her go. Billy wants you to stay, Judy. Billy? Rod does, too. I saw the way he was looking at you. <laughs> I guess he's done all the talking for me. Here. Here, child, it just occurred to me, this ain't no place for you. Come on, get out. Now, wait a minute now. Just come to think of it, this ain't no place for you either. I have a matter of personal business to talk to you of. Now we're gonna have a lot of mushy stuff around here. <laughs>